Welcome everyone back to the weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar, the GFS, the GM, the ECMWF, the GFS and ECMWF ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office run as well. Now we are heading into a much colder period for a few days um, over the course of Thursday, Friday and Saturday. We will be pretty chilly overnight frosts and wintry showers in the north. We're starting to see that on the live radar up here across Scotland um, and Northern Ireland at the moment. But things still generally are westerly, and there are hints that we could be going pretty unsettled and maybe even stormy as the jet stream sinks slightly further southwards with those centre of the lows positioning more towards the UK than towards Iceland where they are at the moment. So it can mean stronger winds than we've had recently, more bouts of heavier frontal rainfall and the potential for some name storms. But again, that will be very much dependent nearer the, nearer the time and how the low pressure systems do develop um, so by no means are guaranteed for any name storms but the potential is there over the coming weeks so remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow, follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description so if we do have a look at the live radar at the moment you can see generally most areas are actually dry uh, across many parts of england and wales bit of a band of patchy drizzly rain spreading from southwest england all the way through central southern england through into parts of East Anglia and the London area, bringing some thicker cloud and some drizzly rain. Further northwards, so not too bad, a bit of sunshine around. But as we head further northwards, you see big, much colder, unstable air mass. And so we're seeing wintry showers fall over the higher ground, and we are seeing also some um, heavier showers as well, generally. Um, spreading through. We do have weather warnings in force, um, some snow and ice warnings, but I'm not looking at those today um, as they are um, not not they're pretty trivial let's be honest um general one to three centimeters over higher ground something we've seen very often over the last few weeks um whenever we've had these sort of northwesty spells so i don't want to spend time looking at today and, and lengthening the video significantly but yeah generally still some risk of wintriness and ice uh, to lower levels as well as we do have um as we do have even precipitation um, that may fall as rain initially, it, it will freeze overnight tonight when we see clearer skies and those temperatures starting to fall. So risk of ice and snow across Northern Ireland, Northern England and Scotland, there are some weather warnings in place. So do check those out if you are worried, but it's nothing too crazy. It's just a yellow warning for ice and snow. So if we do now have a look at the GFS run, have a look what's going to be going on over the next couple of weeks now you can see that northwesterly wind at the moment but you can see those center of the lows are further northwards but as we spread through the next couple of weeks you can see those low set pressure systems slowly edge further southwards then by maybe around day 10 we start to see those lows actually push over the top of the country you see there real deep low pressure system heading through northern england southern scotland and another big low spreading through uh, towards the end of the run um, and yeah that storm track or that path of low pressure systems slightly further southwards so it could turn things potentially quite stormy unsettled with heavy rain not particularly mild conditions um as of course um, rain and wind even if it's within milder air will still feel pretty chilly um the thermometer may say 10 degrees or so but it will feel pretty chilly out there pretty unpleasant and uh, not particularly great however if we have a look at the gm see how that does compare you can see again very similar the next few days before that storm track does push southwards and we see these low pressure systems sliding in now day 10 is not quite as far south as the gfs those central lows are still only just skirting scotland but it would be still very unsettled and i would expect to see wind warnings perhaps rain warnings maybe um, and maybe named storms with this but again not guaranteed um, just looking yeah very unsettled and stormy whereas recently we've had that high pressure sitting in the south keeping things relatively dry um, of course we have had named storms over the last few weeks uh, but they mainly affected northern areas of course but we could be seeing these central lows push further southwards bringing more frontal rain stronger winds and again as i said very unsettled conditions now if we have a look at the east of Efron, see how that does compare. Once again, you can see very unsettled conditions pushing through. Those blues and purples centred more over the top of the UK for a period of time. Not the whole time, by any means. There will be some drier periods in there. But you can see all the way to day 10 that those purples and blues are around the UK, in and around the UK, giving unsettled, potentially stormy, very rainy and windy conditions. So not looking great. Not too much of a change to what we've seen recently, but potentially shifted a bit further southwards, giving more widespread unsettled conditions. Now, if we do go beyond that and have a look at the ensembles, 
Now, the GFS ensemble, as you can see, very much up and down, zonal sine wave. Um, you can see it wasn't initially mild as this run uh, appears at 6 a.m. this morning. Because over the next 12 hours, temperatures are going to really drop away um, to around minus 5 or lower than that for a good couple of days. It'll be colder in, north in northern areas as well for that. Before temperatures do recover towards this weekend, drop again, recover and then we just see it going up and down generally is milder and colder sectors pull through there are some much cold air coming in on some of the runs but those are anomalous runs showing uh, basically cold air coming in from north for a period of time none of these are showing any substantial blocking precipitation signal is very much uh, increased um, so yeah we could be seeing um, a lot more rain, especially in south frontal rainfall, that is. Not just convective rain, um, which has been sort of the, the biggest source of rain recently, especially uh, in the west. It will most likely be more frontal systems, as we'll see with the UK Met Office run in a minute. But you can see the majority of the runs showing heavy precipitation spikes potentially appearing as of soon as about four days' time, so towards the weekend and the start of next week. Now, if we do have a look at the ECMWF run, see how that does compare. If we go to the 850 HPA temperature and precipitation. Now you can see very similar, up and down, quite a lot over the next couple of weeks. Very uh, high precipitation as well on a few days, converging around 13th, 14th of February, and once again beyond that in the following days. So the slope of February is going to be high in precipitation, at least in the middle sort of week or so. Um, and we are going to see quite mild and quite chilly conditions at the same time up and down i think temperatures will be around or slightly above average uh, overall or at least so far it's been around or slightly above average um and yeah nothing crazy really appearing except potentially a bit of stormy weather uh, again if we do have a look at the sea level pressure you can see go to the midnight run some are going very low and those would be potential named storms others are staying all around a thousand millibars or slightly above that and those would just generally be lower pressure precipitation wind nothing too extreme so there is a lot of uncertainty with this and as i said we'll have to just see how it plays out for the next few weeks we'll have a much more a uh, much better idea closer to the time of these low pressure systems pushing in which uh, look likely pushing further southwards in around seven days time so yeah very interesting to see what happens, uh, but at this stage, anything colder is, is off the cards, really. What's happening in the next day or two with much colder conditions coming in from the northwest with some frost and some winter showers in the northwest is, is pretty much the best we're going to get uh, in the near future. Now, if we do have a look at the GF, uh, sorry, the UK Met Office run, looking at precipitation temperature, you now you can see those winter showers pushing into the northwest, and those going to continue across this evening, potentially even increasing in frequency before we see a, sort of a mini low pressure system pushed in, and that could give persistent snowfall, and that's why we have weather warnings in, potentially for a few centimetres of snow, but once again, it'll be mainly over higher ground. As those push through, those showers do get cut off for a period of time, and they continue through Wales, parts of Northern Ireland, and by, early, uh, by most of Thursday, it's not too bad, but it could be a few showers hours around. By Friday we start to see a weather front approach from the west introducing milder air, but areas east of that could still stay quite chilly through Saturday for more precipitation rain. Uh, precipitation moves through Saturday giving more persistent heavy rain widely and a big low pressure system moves through through Sunday. First of those sort of southerly tracked um, jet stream um, sort of low pressure systems around five days time really unsettled and could be seeing heavy rain widely, a big mass of rain pushing through there. Now if we do look at the max temperatures, see how that does compare. Again, you can see today temperatures were around 9 or 10 degrees in the south, around freezing or below that in the north. Uh, and tonight temperatures going to fall away quite rapidly further northwards, but in the south still only 5 or 6 degrees. But temperatures will not rise particularly high tomorrow, 7 8 degrees maximum in the south, probably feeling colder than that. Uh, further northwards around freezing or just above freezing. Free Thursday evening into Friday, widespread frost free for all areas, getting down to around freezing. Much colder rurally, maybe minus 10 degrees over the highlands in Scotland. And by Friday afternoon, temperatures once again, 6 to 8 degrees widely, maybe cold in that over higher ground, and especially across Northern Ireland, Northern England and Scotland. Through Friday evening to Saturday, we could still see some colder temperatures further eastwards and over higher ground, but once again, milder air and cloud is pushing in, so it's going to hold those temperatures up a little bit than if we did have clear skies and that weather front came through maybe six hours later. But through Saturday, still chilly, five to eight degrees widely, but not many, too, uh, too, not too many areas getting lower than that. Before Sunday, milder conditions start to push with that low pressure system, 10, 11 degrees in the far southwest, before another colder air, uh, colder sector moves through, through Monday. So you can see a lot of up and down within, with the temperatures. There's going to be some colder days, there's going to be some milder days, but when we do see those transitions, there's going to be precipitation around, especially towards the weekend. It's looking like there'll be some heavy rain around. Pretty much all areas are going to see some persistent, 
heavy rain making things potentially a little bit miserable really um yeah not looking good if you're looking for any drier frostier conditions really apart from maybe the next day if, if you're in further southwards um yeah not looking great if i'm being totally honest um, um i hope we would potentially see some wintry weather in february but those chances are very rapidly decreasing every day we do go on um, as we're not seeing any major signs of the stratospheric part of vortex weakening um, and that is powering these westerly winds at the moment so we'll have to see exactly what happens but at this stage it's looking quite mild westerly um, with a lot of rain wind and the potential of some stormier conditions as we head across the next week or so but anyway, make sure you take care out there if you are across Scotland or Northern Ireland, Northern England, where we could see some wintry hazards, but I'm not expecting anything too significant um, for areas um, outside of sort of higher ground. Um, areas that are going to be seeing snow in the next couple of days. It's not too unusual for February. It's pretty pretty common really it's just so far this winter has been pretty dire um so we haven't seen it too much so do take care out there if you are um in any of the snow further northwards it shouldn't be too significant to any low-lying areas um but you never know we could be surprised so do stay cautious out there so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon